will be the one to contain this invasion. The sudden appearance and rampant growth of a paradox has turned the Brescia ruins into a crawling nest of monsters. Even the army, unable to contain the endless waves of creatures, has been forced to withdraw. In a last desperate measure, the government has offered a huge sum of money to the person who resolves the paradox. Many have tried, and many have failed. But still, the ruins overflow with reckless bounty hunters and scholars seeking to claim the substantial reward. Hunters, I see. You two are much too young to be in a place like this. What a sad world this has become. I'm working on the development of a new weapon. The materials I need can be found where the paradox effect is the strongest, somewhere inside the ruins. If you see anything of the sort, I'd appreciate it if you brought it back to me. Of course, you'll be compensated for your efforts. All right, the objects you're looking for are likely lost within the space-time rift. I know they won't be easy to find, so make sure to check every hidden corner, every crevice.
चाहिए of monsters. You want to know what I'm going to do with a weapon like that? I'm going to sell it to the government for a serious profit. Here's what I promised you. Thanks again for your hard work.
bagged a whole bunch of us today. Would you be interested in a small job? It's nothing very exciting. I just need you to find someone. My assistant left a while ago, and I haven't seen him since. Can you find him and give him a message for me, if possible? Tell him I need the monster analysis report ASAP. Spectacular. I knew I could count on you. monster analysis report. Oh, my boss must have sent you after me. Here's the report. Take it. I'm glad you came along. The paradox was about to erase not just my memory, but my entire existence. This data should prove to be invaluable in resolving the paradox. The reason this data is so important is because, well, I won't bother you with the technical details. Here's the reward I promised you. It's all there, you have my word. Are you sure this is the way to solve the paradox? It's important to investigate all aspects of the case, Kubo. One step at a time, Kubo. One step at a time. No, that's not very convincing coming from you. When's the last time you took a step anywhere?
studying the sociobiology of monsters. By learning how these monsters react to human aggression, the military will be able to formulate more advanced battle strategies. I have my eye on one of the mercenaries in the area as a test subject. He's brash, abrasive, and violent, and he's always ready to fight any monster he encounters. I wonder how differently the monsters would react to him if he became calm, relaxed, and genial. I'd love to get my hands on such data. Scrap the idea and move on to the next. I ran into that mercenary I was telling.
It is vital to retrieve months, if not years worth of data in order to completely resolve the paradox. We can't waste our time on the phenomena occurring right in front of us. That's why I've placed a monitoring device on the epitaph. At a glance, it merely looks like an offering or gift of some sort. However, it can measure even the slightest effect the paradox has on an object. Centuries from now, someone will be able to access the data in this device and figure out a way to resolve the paradox. I wish I could be there to witness this event, but unfortunately, I'll be long gone. Are you saying you're going to travel to the future to bring me back the data I need? Hold my breath. In the year 20 AF, the Brescia ruins suddenly experienced an influx of monstrous intruders. A paradox was thought to be the cause, but before an investigation could be launched, the situation was already out of hand. The government all but abandoned the area and appealed to the general populace for possible solutions. The ruins crawled with mercenaries and researchers looking to make names for themselves in what had become an unregulated lawless district. As the situation continued to deteriorate, all attempts to stem the invasion ended in wasted time and resources. 300 years have gone by since that paradox first appeared. Is this, is this my monitoring device? I can't believe my eyes. It looks as though it easily contains several centuries worth of data. Was it some kind of paradox effect that brought this back from the future? Now, let's see here. Yes, it appears that the cause of the distortions came from a specific location. If my calculations are correct, then the cause of the paradox should be the control unit of the giant atlas. If I report this to the government, they should have enough data to support a change in strategy. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you both so much. The paradox is occurring because of that one control unit. 
How did it get powered up again? Is someone messing with it? Maybe someone turned it on by mistake. Let's check the ruins to see if we can get to the bottom of this. dispatched by the government. They received a report that the paradox was caused by some control unit. I've come to investigate. However, the unit's locked and inaccessible. Two passwords are required to unlock the device. An academy official was in charge of one of them, but he passed away some time ago. As for the other password, I have no clue who would know. I'm pretty much at a dead end. The man who knew one of the passwords passed away a little while ago. He was assigned to the Padra ruins and the Yashas Massif. We should leave this in the hands of the military. This is interesting. 
If we get our hands on the password of the control unit, we might be able to solve the disturbance within the ruins fairly quickly. It's unfortunate. Mr. Thorne was the only one who knew the password. And now he's disappeared inside the Paradox. I don't know if he's dead, but I doubt we'll ever see him again. An interesting weapon you have there. Thorne. I remember everything. I was investigating the ruins with my colleagues, and suddenly I felt someone push me into the paradox, and somehow it absorbed me. I see. She told you my name, did she? I'm relieved to hear that they're still working as hard as ever, even after I'm gone. It's good to know I taught them well. I think I understand the situation. So you're trying to find the password for the control unit in order to resolve the paradox in the ruins, is that it? Well, I'm as good as dead. So the key to solving the paradox is no help to me. Here, take it. I've written down the password. Maybe you can save everyone. Thanks to my amazing leadership, we finally found the first password, Kubo! If we find the other one, we'll be well on our way to solving the case, Kubo. And when we do, the government will give us oodles of gill and I can buy whatever my little heart desires, Kubo. Do I need to get my hearing checked? Or did he really say that he was pushed into the paradox? Does that mean someone... someone tried to kill him? We should be careful. Come on. We need to go find that other password. I think there might be clues in the ruins of the future. Yeah, I hope so. Let's go find them.
whole place is talking about you guys. From what I hear, you're pretty good. A couple of newcomers. Talk to me. I can be convinced into letting you handle the device. All right, all right. You seem to have at least some knowledge of it. It's not publicly known that it requires passwords to unlock it. Okie dokie. Go ahead and take a look at it. sense to me. That explains why we couldn't seem to find it anywhere.
the one. You've obtained both of the passwords? Well, let's try them out and see if they're the real deal. The good news is the passwords were correct, but now we're faced with a new mystery, this paradox. It seems it was created by people. In 20 AF, someone tampered with the control unit, which looks to be the cause of this entire situation. The culprit was responsible for the monster population increase and for taking out those who knew the passwords. I believe that a group that opposed the Academy's ideals used the paradox for their own gain. They tried to destroy the institution once and for all. To this day, we're still in the dark as to who was behind this operation and why. You two were a great help in solving this tough situation. As a government representative, I'd like to offer you some compensation for your trouble. Please, go and find out what it is. If it turns out to be a dangerous monster, make sure to destroy it on the spot. I thought the paradox had been dealt with. So what's this big ugly guy doing here? If we don't defeat this monster, then who knows what'll happen to Cocoon? Come on, Noel. Mog, you too!
machine could bring forth such a terrible monster. And the paradox, too. That was caused by humans as well, wasn't it? Monsters don't kill people. People kill people. Does that sound about right? <laughs> Truer words were never spoken, Kubo. People are much more scary than monsters, Kubo. We risked our lives to solve the case, Kubo. And how does the government pay us? Not with guilt. But bits and bobs and household goods, Kubo. No one needs ten years' worth of toilet paper, Kubo. No one! I had no choice but to decline their 